hello everyone how are you today so in this video i'll be showing you how to complete your youtube text detail for non-us residents all right so head to your google adsense account and log in once you log into your google adsense account you may see something like this this video has been done in 2023 which might be different from those who have account in uh, previous years okay so once you log in you will look there that there will be a notice for you okay right click on the manage text info all right once it opens you scroll down okay so this is done from south africa you scroll down and you will see add test info okay so I'll click on that and scroll down so this dialog box comes out I will then click on start test form okay so the screen the screen comes out so you can log into your Google Adsense account so I'll click on the next button All right, so we're now starting to fill up the form. So these are some of the questions we need to answer. You just read this, okay? It's all about um, filling, giving you update or giving you information on the kind of form you need to fill. So I'll just go straight out to answering the question here. Okay, so it says, what type of account is this? My account is individual. So I'll click on the individual and click on next. okay are you a citizen or resident of the u.s no so this is for those who are non-us non-us residents so i'll click on no and click next so the next question here is select w8 test form type based on your previous reference selected answers a w8 form is needed all right so th there are two options here so i'll read them carefully it says w it ben okay this form this form is most commonly used by non-us individuals and would also be used to claim test treaty benefits so because you're a non-us resident that is for you this form is most commonly the second one this form is most commonly used by a non-us business this is for business guys if your account is a business account then you will go for the second option all right so i'll click on the next button to start the w8 band form enter your information test identity individual name as shown on your test document so you need to put in the full detail there so i'm going to add in my detail all right so here is option i'm going to leave it as optional select country and here is a um, um, text payer identification number which is called thin here in south africa so i do have one i'm going to enter it there but it says optional all right so i'll click on the next button so over here you need to put a tick and um, fill in your address all right so i filled in my address so the address is same with um mailing address is same as permanent resident address yes in my own case then i'll click on the next button test treaty okay south africa and the u.s have a test treaty okay are you claiming a reduced rate of withholding under a test treaty okay so yes all right resident of country claiming treaty with the u.s so i'll put a tick there and select the country which is south africa so i'm just gonna scroll through and get south africa okay so once you put that in you scroll down okay so 
all right special rates and conditions so this is an explanation you need to go through it just explaining it to you that this um the kind of tax you may have to pay for you may claim any future income type that you may plan to earn from google products so in this case services such as adsense i put a, a tick there so follow me through here this is how you need to okay go through this and filling up the form so when you choose adsense article and paragraph so you click you choose the article 7 and paragraph 1 withholding test you choose the 0% reduced treaty rate okay and put the tick and select that okay the tick there okay scroll through and then um, choose article 12 and paragraph 1 withholding test I'm choosing zero reduced one so I sign that okay now go through other copyright other copyright royalties i'm putting a tick there such as play and youtube partner program okay so that is also important i click and choose that article 12 and paragraph one withholding text i'm choosing that one zero percent all right so reason i'll put a tick on Okay, so ensure that you read this okay this is just you declaring that you you are not in the u.s that whatever you do is outside of u.s so you put a tick there so once done click on the next button this is just um, what you have finished completing so i recommend that you click on this form to see what you have um, completed review it once you are happy with what is there you can then go ahead and click confirm or you can go back and um, modify it confirm the form click on the next okay at this point it's just um, terms and condition all right so you need to put your signature here so it says are you the person named in the text identity section signing this form yes it was me yes i am the person named and the test identity signing this form so i that's me i put a tick there now full legal name so you need to put your full legal name in here okay so okay so in the next section here it says activities and services performed in the u.s okay remember this is for non-us residents okay so i'm going to read this has the individual identified in the tax has the individual identified in the tax identity section performed any activities and services for google within us okay so for my case it is a no because this is solely outside from the us so i'll certify that okay so everything i am doing is physically located outside of us that's why i put a tick there now the next section is are you providing text info for a new or existing payment profile that hasn't received payment or an existing payment profile that has previously received payment so in this case there are two options the first one is I am providing test information for a new or existing payments profile that hasn't received payment. So I haven't received any form of payment in this account. So I'm going to choose the first one. If you had received payment previously, so you can go for the second option. Okay, once you're here, it says um, go paperless. So it's just an information ensure to go through whatever that is written here, um, which is terms and condition. Once you are happy, you click on, put a tick there, accept the paperless delivery agreement, okay? Go paperless, recommended. So this is recommended, okay? Everyone, this is recommended. Then you put a tick, you don't need to put it, um, check this one, and then you submit. And then you're done. So here it says, um, your test info for US has been accepted. So guys, this actually took around a week for it to be approved. The reason is because I was asked to submit additional documents. Okay, 
yeah you can see the first time i submitted it was um january 29th 2023 but it took around a week all right for the approval to come so here you would see that it's been status is approved as you can see over there okay task test forms and withholding rate over here where motion pictures and tv is zero percent okay claimed all right copyright other copyright zero percent and um, services zero percent so this is what it should look like all right so that's the end of this video i wish everyone who watches this video success especially for those who are working towards getting their channel um, approved for ypp program i wish you all the best guys click the sub button like the video so other people can also see and subscribe thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video